Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, I'm Nobu. and today we are going to be watching the Hunger Games uh, sequels pitch meeting. So I think this is two through four. Um, we're doing our favorite type of reaction, again, pitch meetings, which are just amazing. Like I said before, let us know. Um, I'm thinking Honest Trailers, or maybe How It Should Have Ended as well next, because those are really fun uh, series on YouTube. But I don't know, let us know what you think. And let's just get into the Hunger Games sequels pitch meeting. You have some Hunger Games sequels for me? Yes, sir, I do. We got two <laughs> books left, which means three movies to go. Yeah, it feels like you should check that math. Yeah, it feels like we should cash that <laughs> check. <laughs> what? Like, oh, good work, good work. Yeah, remember, we're going to do that thing. Well done. The final book of a young adult series and split that into two movies to blatantly squeeze as much money out of it as oh, you can. Oh, wait till you get right, to the right, right, right. Is there enough material for us to do wait, that? Not Sorry. exactly. <laughs> get the subtitles. It's hard for me to like, keep up sometimes. Thank you. You know, well, but you said the good word though. So what happens in these things? Well, President Snow word. was mad at Katniss and Peeta because they inspired some uprising after winning the Hunger Games, right? Uh huh. And so they've kind of become this symbol of the rebellion. Oh, so <laughs> Snow makes sure they're never seen by the public again. You know? Yeah, he sends it just up kills to all them. the districts with some microphones and a bunch of free time to strategize with each other <laughs> and their allies. Oh, well, it kind of seems like it might further incite the rebellion. Yeah, so that further incites the rebellion. <laughs> right. So Snow <laughs> sends these really mean Power Rangers to all the districts to be violent and beat people up. Oh, very. Very rude. Yeah, but then Katniss and Peeta and Hamish, they use their influence as victors to stop the violence, and Which Snow does not like that. So what does he do? Yeah, well, see, he has this new game master and advisor, this guy Plutarch Heavensby. Oh, oh a man. very wacky name. He sounds like a space butler. And he's been pushing stuff <laughs> like public beatings and executions, but now he's like, hey, let's do a Hunger Games, but just using the pool of existing victors. That's a pretty evil plan, for sure. Yeah, so Katniss and Peeta, they both head into these new games, and they just make a ton of friends. Oh, well, that's nice. Wait, what? Well, they have this big group of allies. They're it goes against the purpose of what you're supposed to do nice. with these things. Okay, well, I mean, that is nice, but aren't they supposed to kill each other? No, they're only going to kill some of the evil tributes. We're comically evil, so it's okay if they die. Like, what are yeah, the we don't need them. Well, okay, so just completely removing any moral dilemma from the Hunger exactly. Games. Exactly. Yeah, get yeah. that out of here. Wow, wow, wow. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Katniss is going to shoot an arrow at a lightning bolt, and that's just going to overwhelm the electrical system, which destroys the dome they're in. Oh, she blows up the Hunger Games? She does, and then she finds out that there was this whole <laughs> she secret does going on and a bunch of the other contestants were in on it. Oh. Yeah, the plan the whole time was to get Katniss and Peeta out of there. Well, why weren't they let in on the plan? So the movie could have a fun little <laughs> twist at the end. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and so the well, whole thing was to be organized fair, by this lady named Coin. You don't want them knowing Plutarch, everything. The advisor to Snow, the space butler, and yeah, the game master guy. He was secretly a good guy. What a public executions for a good guy. Yeah, okay, maybe not a good guy, but... You know, a Better. guy. Well, good to know. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that guy. Out that Peter like was everyone. captured, and she's super angry because he's all she cares about. What? When did that happen? Oh, at a certain point, I imagine. Anyway, it happened he's in the all book. she's okay, going to talk about it happened the rest the of the movies. Well, okay, hey, this then. is the movie. So then, that one's over. That one's done. Oh, that's kind of abrupt. I feel like nothing was resolved. Yeah, this isn't really going to be one of those movies that stands on its own. This is more of a stepping stone situation. Oh, okay, gotcha. So then in the next one. <laughs> wait, is this one going to be a movie or a stepping stone too? Stepping stone as well, sir. And this one's <laughs> It's going to pretty much one. be a propaganda battle between the rebels and the Capitol. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah the Capitol yeah, keeps putting out slow. these videos of a skinny-looking PETA, and he's saying stuff like, okay, everybody stop fighting now, please, okay? <laughs> okay, and so the rebellion also starts to make propaganda videos, but the thing is, the videos are kind of crappy, and Katniss isn't very convincing. Oh, so what do they do? Well, they decide to send her into actual For battle real. so they can get some real reactions from her and whatnot. They risk everything because Katniss is not a good actress? Yeah, most of this movie's going to be them trying to compensate for for Katniss's unconvincing oh, acting abilities. Oh, And so eventually the good guys are going to go on this mission to try to rescue Peeta and the other victors, and they're just going to kind of not encounter any resistance in doing so. Oh, very Which suspicious. Is incredibly yeah. sus. Snow let them rescue Peeta as part of his evil plan. Oh. Yeah, see, he brainwashed Peeta into wanting to kill Katniss, and that's just what he tries to do with his little malnourished arms. Snow's <laughs> strategy was to send an underfed guy to choke her out. Exactly. Pretty evil, right? He just gave up the main piece well, of his propaganda strategy. I think strategy. it's supposed to be like... Like and if they were able to brainwash people this whole time, why didn't they do that to Katniss and Peeta right after the first game? <laughs> Unclear. They're not very good at this, I guess. Well, okay then. So how does everybody react to Peeta trying to kill Katniss? Okay. Oh, well then, Learning. that movie's done too. It's over. Right, stepping stone. <laughs> okay, and not really any resolutions or anything. Just kind of, hey, come see the next movie, okay? Sure, sure, sure. It's, sure. Okay. it's a whole other That's, That's what it was called. Oh, uh, storming the Capitol is tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
that's gonna age well, right? What is? That sentence I just said, that's gonna age well, that's gonna age okay. Why wouldn't that yeah, age yeah, well? Yeah, no worries, no, no worries. I just got this weird fi- it's probably nothing. Okay, yeah. so anyway, they want to go to the capital, but Snow set up these pods all over the place, like every ten feet, and they're filled with deadly stuff. Uh-oh. Yeah, like one of them just suddenly fills up a whole city block with some oil <laughs> yeah. stuff, which then disappears. <laughs> what? How does, where does, where does it go? Well, technology's borderline magic in these movies, so don't worry about that. Okay, so wow, I guess it's gonna yeah. be tough for them to even get close to the capital with all those magical traps lying around. Get Actually, ready. it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they just use the big tunnels under the city. They walk through those. There are big tunnels that lead to the capital and Snow didn't put pods down there? That's right. Well, well yeah, that is convenient. It sure <laughs> is, sir. But while they're down there, this is gonna turn into a horror movie for a little bit and these zombie mutant things are gonna kill a bunch of the squad. Oh, that's not good. It's yeah. not. No, it's a, bad th- it's a bad thing. So then what happens? Well, then out of nowhere, Snow just decides to invite everyone to his mansion. What? I don't know. He's not the brightest. So then Katniss and Gale, they plan on Just sneaking charity. in. But the Power Rangers, they're checking everybody's faces. The yeah, you gotta Rangers. watch out for Power Rangers. Yeah, you do. But just as Katniss is about to get caught, a bomb goes off and then everything explodes and Katniss's sister explodes and, 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 and everything explodes. <laughs> oh, my God. And everybody blames Snow and so they take him down, but it was actually Coin. Oh, that's gonna be fun to see. No, it's gonna be an off-screen thing. Oh. And so then Coin <laughs> makes herself president, but she's like, she's a little power hungry. Oh, she's evil. She is and she wants some new Hunger Games, but with people from the capital. Wow. So then there's this big ceremony where Katniss is supposed to execute Snow, but instead she shoots her arrow at Coin and kills her. What? How? Well, Coin was standing behind Snow for some reason with her <coughs> arms open. Just a great target. What was Katniss's <laughs> plan if she didn't have that amazing placement? Unclear. And so then the crowd runs up to Snow and they kill him with their bare hands. Ah. So then a couple years later, Peta and Katniss, they have some kids. Wait, 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 what, what happened? Oh, we just jump <laughs> forward a couple of years and everything. Yeah, we actually don't know what happened, happened to the, the government. Yeah. Yeah, the how were they able the revolution to revolution in front of a bunch of people and then people murder the former president with their bare hands and that didn't lead to chaos? No, that led that, to that sounds like the French Revolution. Good now. Yeah. Okay. And so Katniss and Peta hang out with their a kids bit of a and that's terrible about it. Thing. What do you think? Well, it sounds like we're really stretching and squeezing this franchise for everything it's worth, you know? So I'm pretty happy about that. We really are, sir. I don't see how we could squeeze another penny out of the Hunger Games. Uh, well. <laughs> Wait. Hello. It's right. Wait, I didn't even hear about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, they they wrote a book. Suzanne Collins wrote a book. I think it's. I've actually haven't read it yet. I was thinking about reading it about um, Snow, like like a prequel about Snow and his like rise to power, essentially. Okay. Um, from his point of view, and so I think they bought the. I think they bought the movie rights even before the book came out, and then oh. the book came out a year or two ago. Interesting. Um, so I think they're working on a movie. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as usual, make some solid, uh, some solid points. That was solid really points. good. <laughs> that made some solid points against the books, man. No, yeah. no, I, I like that he. Uh, I like that he, he puts in back. the work. He does. You know what I'm saying? He to does. like figure out certain things. It's not just like, oh, you know, why was he looking sad here yeah. when he should be happy? It's like yeah. no legitimate like. Well, and I also appreciate, too, like, the way that he will write in, uh, uh, I know it sounds silly, but he'll, like, set up jokes and then pay them off throughout the videos. Yeah. Like, that's, like, really good writing. That's not just normal, like, oh, yeah. you're funny and you stick your camera in front of yourself. Like, he's, like, setting up things and then paying them off three minutes later with mm-hmm. some other thing that's happened in another, and that's funny. That's really well written. Yeah, and he also, the other thing that he does is he also gives his his two characters like personality like, yes, as yes. they're like <laughs> you know saying what they want to say they also have their own storylines going on so exactly. you know which is really cool <laughs> i don't know he's just really good at what he does yeah he's he's the best um so yes as always let us know what other pitch videos you guys want us to watch in the future because there's a lot of these and they're real fun to watch and yeah thank you guys just for hanging out thank you for joining us for watching if you're new to the channel welcome uh, hopefully you stick around we would love to have you with us and all that being said we will see you guys in the next video